our study, we leveraged Mayo Clinic's large and detailed Echolab database to study the prevalence of mitral annulus calcification and its relationship to other features and to its relationship to mitral valve dysfunction. We used a, all the transthoracic echoes performed in a one-year period. Hello, I'm Dr. Patricia Pelica, Vice Chair in the Department of Cardiovascular Medicine and the Betty Knight Scripps Professor of Cardiovascular Disease Clinical Research at Mayo Clinic. I'm the senior author of a paper by Dr. Nahoko Kato and colleagues that is published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings. Our paper is Prevalence and Natural History of Mitral Annulus Calcification and Related Valve Dysfunction. We studied this because of the observation of a rather significant prevalence of mitral annulus calcification in patients undergoing transthoracic echocardiography and also a growing concern about patients with calcific mitral stenosis, assuming that mitral annulus calcification might be a precursor to that condition. So we studied more than 24,000 patients and observed a prevalence of mitral annulus calcification of 23%, so quite a significant percentage. And that percentage increased with age in patients over the age of 90 having an echocardiogram, the prevalence was more than 65%. We then looked at the presence of moderate or greater degrees of mitral valve dysfunction, either stenosis or regurgitation in patients with MAC. And moderate or greater mitral valve dysfunction was present in 16% with MAC. We noted that it was more than twice as prevalent in patients with MAC as patients without MAC. So indeed, MAC is a marker of mitral valve dysfunction. We explored in detail the clinical and echo predictors of MAC. We noted that patients with aortic valve stenosis had a more than fourfold increased prevalence of mitral annulus calcification. Importantly, mitral annulus calcification was independently associated with increased mortality, and this was after adjusting for many clinical and echocardiographic variables. And this was especially true when it was associated with moderate mitral valve dysfunction. Mitral annulus calcification should be a tip-off or clue that the patient may have coexistent valve dysfunction. And this valve disease should be looked for and patients followed for it when MAC is present. We continue to explore therapies to reduce the development and progression of mitral annulus calcification. And we also are continuing to study therapies for mitral valve disease in the setting of MAC. Read our paper in Mayo Clinic Proceedings for more information. Thank you for your attention. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.